Hi everybody and welcome to this week's LEGO Technic video. Uh, what I'm going to be showing you today is my latest creation. It's a gearbox that's trying to solve a particular problem that I've come across myself. And what the problem is, is let's say you're creating a remote control car, like for example this one. And you want to be able to drive the car, you want to be able to steer the car, and also change gears remotely on the car. Then generally speaking you'd need three motors to do that, because you've got three different functions. So obviously you'd need you know, for example one large motor to drive you might use a medium sized motor to change gears and then you might use another motor for the steering now not only do you need three motors but you also need because each uh, remote receiver has only got two channels you pretty much need two remote receivers and not only that you need uh, two remote controls like this. Now you might be in a situation where you've actually only got um, one of these or just one receiver and one remote control and you have two motors. So what I'll try to do is to um, use this gearbox to be able to implement two functions at one time. So obviously by reducing from three motors down to two we need to put two functions onto one of the motors and this is exactly what this gearbox tries to do. So this gearbox allows you to drive the car as well as change gears remotely. And that's what I'm going to be presenting to you today. Okay, so how do you implement two different functions using a single gearbox and one motor? Well, the idea is to realize, of course, that a motor can go forwards and backwards. And what you want to do is when the motor goes forwards, for example, you might drive the main drive shaft. And when the motor goes backwards, uh, it will change the gears of the gearbox. So how do you get a motor to behave differently depending on the direction it's going in? Well, the trick is to use a kind of setup like this. What I've got here is an axle, and that axle is driving a top gear, and that gear is then connected to another gear which is on a sort of a loose pivot that can rotate. And what happens is that as I, for example, rotate that top gear in the clockwise direction, because the rotation is in that, that direction, the teeth are moving in that direction, that's pushing on that lower gear in that direction. So as I rotate clockwise, you'll see that move left, and as I rotate anti-clockwise, it moves to the right. You can use that effect to be able to uh, change the function of the motor. So I'll give you a, a better example of that with an actual um, motor implementation. So I've got the same kind of setup. I've got that loose pivot. I've connected it to a, a medium-sized motor. And as I turn it on, you can see the bottom gear move to the left, and as a reverse direction, it moves to the right. And of course, the idea is that that movement is then used to drive uh, another couple of gears. So you have one gear on the right, one gear on the left, and as that engages with the right side you can do one function as it engages with the left side you drive the other function so I'll just show you that implemented um, in this setup over here so what I've got is the same thing I've got that uh, pivot along the bottom I've got a medium sized motor we've got our side gears that we're going to be driving as we go in one direction we can see we're driving the left side and as we change directions we'll drive the right side this is exactly what I've implemented in uh, this gearbox. So as the motor goes in one direction, we're driving the drive shaft, and when it goes in the other direction, we're changing gears. Okay, so that explains how I've got a motor to implement two different functions. So in this case, in this gearbox, I've implemented that here at the back. So I've got that yellow lift arm that can move between the two black 12-tooth gears, uh, one of which uh, changes gears and one of which is driving the main drive shaft. Um, so I'll just tell you a little bit about the gear changing. So I've implemented the gear changing by using a Bugatti uh, stepper function. So in this case what this allows you to do is kind of like a paddle shift and allows you to step an axle in a discrete 90 degree uh, steps like that. It's a very uh, neat mechanism. And in my case of course I've only, I'm only using going in one direction uh, so I've just only needed one of these arms to push uh, the axle along like that. So I've implemented that. Uh, you can see here on the top, so I can push this uh, shorter version of that paddle shift and rotate uh, the gear changing mechanism uh, between four different gears. And those four different gears are implemented uh, using um, just some of the orange rotary catches. So in this case, what I've got here is that the uh, yellow um, lift arm moves between the two different functions. So we can either change the gears, which is the right function, or drive the main drive shaft which is the left function and then as I change gears we can see there's four different gears implemented so in this case here I'm driving uh, through the drive shaft on the right when implementing a 1 to 3 onto the output then as I change gears uh, we then switch to a 3 to 5 and then 
the next gear is a 1 to 1 and then finally uh, we've got a reverse gear here which is a 9 to 25 in the reverse. So that's how I've implemented the gear changing mechanism and the uh, gearbox itself in terms of the, the gears underneath and this is a very strong and robust way of doing it. Um, this gearbox doesn't slip, it's, uh, these gears will help very tightly and gives us a very very good gearbox. Okay, so let's see the gearbox in action. I've connected to my remote control receiver. I've got the battery box here and we've got the large power function motor in the center of the gearbox. I've got my remote control here. It's just got the one lever to be able to control the gearbox, to be able to drive and change gears with just the one controller. So let's see it go. So now we're in gear one, we're going forwards. We're in that one to three gearing ratio, the third, which is the low gear. We can then, if we want to change gears, we'll simply move the remote backwards change gears and go forwards. We're now in gear 2, going a lot faster. This is a 3 to 5 gearing ratio and again we'll go to gear 3 like that. Much faster, 1 to 1 gearing ratio. And finally if we want to drive the car in reverse, we're now going in reverse direction. So again, gear 1, like that, gear 1, gear 2, 3 to 5, gear 3, 1 to 1, in reverse. Right, it's also like I said, it's a very robust gearbox, so I can hold down that output and uh, we won't get any uh, internal gear slippage. It uh, doesn't matter what uh, gear we're in. So gear 2 and gear 3. It's a, it's a very good, strong gearbox. Uh, so I think, uh, yeah, this is a very good implementation. It works really well. There are some downsides. So for example, uh, this gear selection mechanism or function selection mechanism only really works in one direction in terms of uh, gravity if you do put on its side it doesn't uh, it doesn't really work so it only kind of goes in one direction you kind of need to have it facing downwards so it uh, does work um, there might be uh, another way of doing this so that it works better i'm going to look further into that um, but yes so this is the uh, two function gearbox Alright, so that's my two function gearbox using just a one remote controller, you can change gears and drive. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this video. Um, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.